Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kirsten. I post once weekly on Sundays, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on other videos. But I'm excited for this one because it has helped me so much with school. And although using an iPad to take notes is not for everyone, I personally think it has helped my studying so much. One thing I wanted to share really quickly before we get started is to check out Julia's channel. I'll put it right here. She makes really good techie, creativity, productivity videos, and she has so many on her channel. So go check out her channel after this video because she might cover things that are different than the way that I do them and she also has just an abundance of knowledge about the technology part of things. She has awesome content, so I just wanted to leave that there, but let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna share how I take notes. First, we're gonna need an iPad. I have the seventh generation iPad, I believe, so it's like the 10.2 inch. So when you go to the app store, you're gonna see the Notability app, and it's going to look like this. And it is $8.99. After using it for a while, I've really come to love it. And I kind of wonder how I ever did my undergrad school without an iPad. In case you guys are wondering, all these classes are going to be OT classes. I'm in OT school right now, so I just wanted to let you guys know in case you're wondering what classes I was showing you guys. Here is my Notability app. We'll open that. This is how it looks when I first open it. You can see that it is a dark blue theme. On the left here, I have all my classes titled and I even have classes from prior semesters. But here are all my classes. And then here are just some unfile notes. And then you can also just go to recent notes, unfile notes, and all notes. And I have 138 right now, which is insane. Here are all my fall 2020 classes. This is what this view looks like we have our other classes for this semester right here and i'll tell you guys why i make dividers for each one when i had them like this it was really hard for me to find a specific note when i was studying for a final or a cumulative exam so by doing it this way i'll probably add more subjects under the exam one so for example exam one two three four that way when i'm looking for a note at the end of the semester and I can remember, oh, that was on exam one content. And then I'll click on exam one content and then here will be all my notes. So that's just for me because in grad school we have a lot of cumulative exams and then you can always go back and condense them like I did here. So these were my classes last semester. When I'm clicking on here, all of these are dividers. Each thing under the divider is called a subject. So if we wanna add, we'll go here, we'll add a divider and so it's gonna look like these here. I figured out that if you open a divider, you can actually write here, and my handwriting is gonna be absolutely terrible, but we'll see what it did. So it thinks that I wrote old, which is why I don't really write them out. I usually just type them out. Now I have a new divider. Okay, so I'm gonna add a subject. It looks like it added one here. Again, you can write in your subject, I'm just gonna put some numbers and then now I have a subject I made and I'm gonna drag it down to the divider that I just made and look at this so if you want to edit edit any of these you can so I edit all my colors obviously to make them look like aesthetic so you just go to settings and then I kind of just went in order of these um, so that one was yellow so we're gonna go orange down here you can change your subject name let me see if you can write here yeah so you can write here as well to change anything talk a little bit about the themes really quick and then we will get into the actual note-taking part on notability all right so in your bottom corner here all right so if you pull up your settings you can see mine defaults to the document but here's a little bit about the settings backing up managing an account all that good stuff but we're gonna click on themes and here are just the free themes that come with come with it and I chose the dark blue theme I thought it was really cool how the colors changed over here but let's go to a light theme because that's what it was on prior and so that's this is what it's gonna look like and I'll show you how I got the colors like this I personally don't love light themes just because I feel like it's really harsh on my eyes when I'm staring at this all day so we're gonna go back down to the settings here and then here we're back to dark blue 
there is dark and there is jet black even. If you go to the Notability shop for themes, they have a few themes here that are pretty cheap. They're 99 cents and I was honestly thinking about getting the summer one, but I might wait until summer is just a little bit closer. It gives you a preview of the theme. So you can kind of play around. You can see that there's suns over here for the summer theme. And then it also has a little summer theme down here. And then to end the preview, you just tap anywhere. Something I might invest in in the future is the planners. Okay, so they offer the planners, which are a little more expensive, um, but I totally would invest in these if I hadn't just bought a new planner. If you've tried this, please comment down below and let me know what you think. But let's get to some actual note taking. One thing I should mention is that I cannot show any of my teacher's PowerPoint slides because they are copyrighted. I downloaded a PowerPoint of mine from OneDrive, got it onto my iPad and over to Notability. So I'm going to show you how I can do dual note taking. But this is a project that I completed and submitted for a school project so please do not copy it but I did want to show you all how I can write on powerpoints okay so to begin I'm just gonna click on this let's find okay so I'm gonna choose this one it didn't format over perfectly just because I went through OneDrive from my laptop emailed it to myself tried to send it to my iPad and then got it on Notability so it's usually not that difficult I promise usually just like save the document in Notability and you're good to go so this is my PowerPoint so you can pretend this is like the lecture slides and so you can have any type of pin here and you can choose the thickness I always go with this one for some reason and then lately I've been liking this orange nude color and then this neutral pink so this is what I have been writing with and really enjoying it. So if you want to go back, you can erase what you do. Here's the eraser, here's the highlighter. So say I want to highlight that line, you just hold it and it'll correct to go straight. So say you want to highlight the title, hold it, correct, and it goes straight. Any line that you draw or any line that you try to highlight, you can just hold it down for a second and it corrects it to a complete straight line. Say that you go like this on accident, you can always move it down and it'll snap into place. So first, before I show dual note taking, I did want to touch on the pencils, the highlighters, that's the eraser. You can also put text. I just don't use text all that much because I feel like that takes more time. Here we'll erase what we highlighted. And here's the pen so you can add extra notes to your slides. I don't know what to write, but... <laughs> So you kind of get the idea. You can write on the PowerPoint, which is awesome. It's pretty much how I take notes in classes that they go pretty closely to the slides and then I can just add some extra ones really quick. It's a really good way to go back and study too for, for deeper understanding of concepts. But then you can also highlight. So I have my color. Wow. And then that was really off. So I'm just going to click and drag it down. But you can kind of just mess with it really. You see that was like up. And you can just like snap it down in the place. So that's how it looks and you can choose the options that they already have for you or you can click to add a color, type in a hex code, or you can kind of just mess around and try to find a color you like. And if you really like the color, you can click here to add it to favorites. And the favorites bar for me I have right here. So I click on it and then you see all of my highlighters and pencils that I favorited up here. So that way I can go to my black pencil and just add more notes to my highlighter here. Click and drag it over if you need. And there you go. So this is really something that you kind of got to mess around with just to get the hang of. All right, so dual note taking. We're going to swipe over and this is how you're going to find your extra note that you want to add and have it be split screen. So I'm going to search, because I don't see it there, and type in Jan 13. So this is the note that I want, and it's one that I started in class and actually drew on for anatomy. So I like to have my notes that I'm drawing on on the right side, because I'm right-handed. This is my PowerPoint slide that I created on the left, and on the right are my anatomy notes that I drew. And you can see that the drawing is not like perfect, but you can kind of get an idea of what you can do and it's really cool because you can make 
one larger than the other. So when I'm drawing, I kind of need to be a little more zoomed in. And then you can zoom back out. And you kind of get the idea. You have your pins all up here. And then if you want to go back to the PowerPoint slide, you just click on that side. You can expand it and you can add your notes.